man. Don't do what you say. Just go. <laughs> Maybe like, yeah, I'm just gonna get this sorted out. Come back. No, it's while you're there. Just Different. like, just run it round. <laughs> the whole tic tacs, a whole mouthful of tic tacs, bro. Nah, it's better than added than tablets. <laughs> A mouthful of Rennies, fam. You know, because sometimes they look like big Rennies. <laughs> <laughs> no, when they get the extra large ones, when they get the extra large ones, you should be hey, bro, love of I hip-hops. get an XL for this. <laughs> bro, the love of hip hops. <laughs> you got to The XL 7s, fam. You better get the XL 4s, The love of hip hop 11s, fam. <laughs> the love of hip hop 2s. Do you know what's interesting about, um, about the videos as well? Have you seen Attack on Titan? Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Expect Foolish. Let's go! Come Let on. us go, that is it. There we go, we're Come here. Come on, Big Wally, what's going on, bro? I am fantastic. Yes, yes, yeah, Lovely. you sound, you, hey, you know, the energy in the room, you, what are we doing? We give it, you know, we have to be, like, we have to be real guys right now. Wally, let's round of applause for our boy Travis. Round of hey, applause for our boy Travis. Genuinely? Yeah. Yeah, we have to you have to talk up the things. That like, do you want to start because you hey. you done you was talking about Travis before know. he got here, but he was late in it. I don't even know um, where you're gonna go with this. I'm waiting for the pivot you know, to, the, to the banter. Right. No, it's not banter. No, it's, it's not no, banter. No, this is real love. No oh, serious, in all seriousness, like I was genuinely impressed and proud of. Oh, okay. of, um, Rum Punch, bro. So yeah, just, okay. For those that don't know, Rum Punch. Travis has written a show which is coming out on Radio Four, and I. I don't often say this, but I believe credit where credit is due. Like, it's, if you're not, if you don't watch it, if you're not, if you're not listening in, you're missing out. Like, genuinely, from the casting, the writing, and just the overall experience. This this event, yeah. So we've got a little bit of um, that behind the scenes footage of it, which we may share with you. But um, I went there and I got there what I thought was a bit early, and it was packed. From when I came in, like outside, mm-hmm. packed. The queue was going round the corner. I, I genuinely, I saw the queue. I said, I'm not getting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fortunately, this time, Travis said, Travis Patty. respected so, you. Hey, he respected me. Finally. They said, listen, we're not letting anyone in. I know some people got tickets, but we're oversubscribed. So if you, um, so unfortunately, we can take your name down and maybe give you, get you in a future show. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? Unless you've got, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I went to this. <laughs> I was on the guest list. <laughs> with the gold wrist, man. Finally, I felt like bro. a VIP. I was, I was sitting with the celebrities. Bro. I was like, yo. This is the wedding that you never got to, bro. This bro. is, you got to take it as this, bro. <laughs> no, but genu- You're in now, bro. No, but genuinely, Trev, like, well done, man. Like, Thank you, bro. A, Seriously. And just the fact that so much about it was just such a, it's great to be a part of, but also the fact that you weren't like, you very audibly and publicly said, you know, it's not just about me. I'm building this off the back of so many people that have come before and so many great things that have come before. So just to kind of like give it up and just, it's a reminder that a lot of the talent is out there. Yeah. And it's for us to like, like you said, it wasn't something that you did overnight. It wasn't just, yeah. you know, it just, oh yeah, I decided to write something and I put it out. I've been yeah. working on this for four years and I think it just, your perseverance to stick with it and just to get to a point where it's been recorded and people are experiencing it and everyone's laughing and enjoying. It's incredible. Seriously, it's amazing. It's bro. inspirational, and, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'll, really, I'll say my you, piece bro. as well. Let me drop a bomb. Let me drop. That's the that's your bomb for him. But I'll say this piece as well. Travis is a phenomenal writer. Still, do you know I know he's good? Yeah, <laughs> Travis is written this. Travis is written his character. Yeah, um, for me in it. Yeah, <laughs> his character. At first, I was like, this character is ridiculous. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know when you you know when you got a friend, but your friend knows you to the point of like. I'm starting to realize I do dumb things in it. I'm a, I like, <laughs> bro, I've got mad apps. I've got apps for all sorts of foolishness. Hey, in don't it, get yeah? too, <laughs> don't, don't do all too I'm much. saying is, <laughs> Travis knows. I'm reading the paperwork here and I'm thinking, wait. <laughs> now I don't even feel safe in the friendship, bro. I'm like, bro, bro, I'm on the paper, fam. Like, I'm seeing myself in the character, bro. You're very gifted. You're a very gifted writer. Thank it you, was, It was a cool, and you know, your friends say, listen, your friends always say, I spoke to Travis, tight. He's, see, he's been planning this years. Like, he goes to me, bro, you know, I've got something for you. Yeah? And I'm like, oh, snap. I you told that. me yeah. time ago. Like, oh, yeah. Years <laughs> ago. Yeah. He goes, raw, bro, you know, I've got something for you in it. And I was thinking, all right, cool. But that's, I'm used to hearing that. That's the normal, yeah. how many times you've been in a space yeah, where yeah, 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 industry yeah, yeah. chatting it. And then after it's like, it's for it to, I came to, when I sat down and then I saw like, bro, you open up a script and usually it depends. I'm, I'm working my way up, but to be the guy that speaks a lot, <laughs> you know, like in a play, like, or anything, when you start to say, raw, raw, Trev, and I'm getting through the pages, <laughs> I'm like, 
oh, I'm speaking, speaking. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really in this, bro. So, no, Trav, very skilled. I was very proud to be your friend in that moment. Mm. And to, to culturally, what you're trying to do and to be speaking. You know, I talk to Trav daily in it. So, he'll be like, yeah, I'm doing another rewrite. I'm getting again. And this mm. guy, I'm like, bro, it's finished. Even when he, when we had the final read through, this guy done four amendments, Sam. So I know he's dedicated. I can't wait for this to come. It needs to be on TV. We're starting a radio, but we're 100%. claiming TV. 100%. Amen. 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 TV. Nothing about it said that that was your first Nothing. piece of writing, your yeah, first yeah. show you've put together. That even just being there, it was like this must be something you've done four, five, six times. This yeah. must be Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on your you're well on your way. So for this to be the first thing that you've done, bro. Thank you, bro. There you salute. go. There you go. We yeah. had to do it, man. Sometimes nah, you gotta show, that guy, show love to the man then, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Normalize that fam. It's what you know what the whole thing is a is a mad process. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the year's journey of just learning how to, how TV sitcom works, mm -hmm. first of all. And then you start to realise, rah. And then as you start to understand the process, you go, rah, that man back there. Yeah. They were on different stuff, man. Shouts out to Trix Worrell. Like, he's the creator of Desmond's. Do you know what I'm saying? Legend. Yeah, oh, bro. Heavy Legend. duty, fam. Do you know what Legend. I, mean? I was on a Zoom call with them um, that we were, we were, like he was on, and I was just like, shut up. Yeah, this was like last year. A lot of different things that could have been happening, but I hate Travis. But I didn't, yeah. This is how he does things. No, nah, yeah, because for me, yeah, I'm, I'm someone who like, if I'm going to do something, I go to the root of who did it best. And yeah. then I go, okay, I'm going to study you, get to yeah. know what you're doing, see the science, and then yeah. go, okay, let me humble myself and learn. Good. That's the part where I think, that's why I wanted to shout out that the whole thing of like, I want to stand on the shoulders of people that have really done this before. Because yeah. It's like, we do, everything is like modern is better. Modern is this and da, 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 da. And it's just like, I feel like it's a disrespect to mm. not include the legends in the story. Yes. The pioneers in this thing. So that's why I was just like, I know what I'm trying to take on. I got to do it absolute justice. Yeah. By making sure that I go through the process and make sure I do it right. So yeah, bro, it's been a process, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy we're here. You're now. meant to know. All I, all I knew is you're meant to be here. That's it. That's mm. I was in the room and I goes, and there's something special about getting to your first read through and everyone's in the room and the thing that you've said has come to life. There's one thing having an idea. There's another thing when there's heavyweights on the stage yeah. saying these lines, mm. you know, mm. shout out Eddie Nesta. Yeah, facts, Shout bro. out Letitia. Yeah. Shout out Facing the shout News. Shout out Maureen Hibbert, bro. Shout out Maureen. Kev Kevin J was in there Shout well. out what? Bro. Shout out KG the comedian. Shout out KG, oh, come, come on, bro. Goodness. Shout out me in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, honestly, March 5th is when that comes out. It's on uh, Radio 4 um, and the time is to be confirmed. For broadcast that night and then it's on bbc sounds from then going Woo! forward it's are we on sounds yeah yeah bro come on man i'm, I'm excited thank you for cutting the soon check, as well bro, thank bro you i heard a couple pods speaking highly of the thing that i'm just like you know that thing i'm getting a lot of messages and i like the fact that strangers are messaging me yeah because i like where there's nothing in it for them to be yes, nice about yeah. the thing i want you to just yeah you know i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah. All we're right. coming from run punch to the world can bro I, phase one fam can i give since we're in the season of good news and sharing and stuff this is not even a death in paradise news, which is kind of sick still. It's not that, Very bro. Sick. Um, bro, SAG Awards just hit me, fam. They said, yo, I got the nomination through the... I got another... We're nominated again, fam. Come oh, on, fam. Come on. SAG Awards, they invited me and the missus. Business, uh, everything. Listen. We're flying to LA. We're, bro, we're flying to LA, fam. You need to be flexing. You need to be flexing, bro. Bro, I got the thing. I got the... Um, what's it? You know, like, the award... Um, bag that they give you loads of stuff in oh, there. Oh, the gifts in that. The oh, gifts. Right. I ain't opened that yet. They sent that today. There might be bro, a phone in and there. And it had the thingy. It had the. <laughs> no, I checked. I checked for the phone. I didn't okay, see okay, okay. the phone. But I, I, I opened the bag. I was like, like, and then I saw the invitation, bro. Me, the missus, bro. Bro. I, yeah, so flying to LA. Um, they sent me my congratulations, nomination first. It's a big look still. 30th. It's going to be on um, Netflix. So yeah, check Flames. this mad. Bro, I need bro. you to do something to get yourself having a proper moment at the awards fam. Oh yeah. Like not fight someone, but have an argument. Like a, there's a mark, no, but a funny one though. To the point where they go, oh, right, what's good? Everyone's a bit uneasy, but then they come and it's just like a funny back and forth you're having with someone like, oh no, Ricky Gervais or something. Like really <laughs> have a moment. No, but fam. do you know what I'm going to try and do? Go on. If we don't win, I'm going to look disappointed. I'm going to show you this front. Oh, you're going to show I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one. It, 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 I'm going to make sure, like, because we're up against some big shows. Okay, innit? okay. Yeah, if we don't win, I'm doing this one. 
I'm doing that one. You know, because they always you show people looking shady. happy. You go show people looking happy and clapping. Nah, bro. I'm giving. Nah, I'll tell you what you do. Don't even do that. It's, it's... No, I hate it. I hate it. No, what, that was more. Oh, yeah. How? That's, how? That's how? A, that's a meme in the paper oh, tomorrow. No, no, no. How is so? How? I, how? Bro, that man. How? <laughs> Do a, a pure this watch. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Robert. Hey, but the problem is because the shows that we're getting up against, I really like them. Uh, so it's a bit. It's a bit of a mad one because. Um, have you seen, heard of that show, The Bear? The, um, that cooking. It's a on. It's they win the coke, Not the crack. No, that's the film. No, that's no, film. that's yeah, the no, cocaine no. bear, bro. Yeah, no, no. Sorry. That's a whole different league. It's a whole different thing, fam. A whole different genre. Yeah, cocaine so, bear. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bear that's just oh, on yeah, coke, bro. The, the Killing and... people. <laughs> just moving. Crazy. Killing people, bro. This bear was really high on moving like Scarface. Just, just... <laughs> it's nuts, fam. Yeah, I don't. I ain't seen the bear, though. The actual bear. Oh, it's a good sh- but it's a good show. Okay. They've, been, they've been sweeping, so... And then we're getting um, Ahsoka as well. Star Wars, you know how... My, I love to be in the Star Wars universe. Stop. It's a, it's Listen, bro, wrong. pattern up. They're the ops now, fam. Stop speaking bare high. Oh, no, don't get fam. twisted. We've won Get, them, Wait, get them out on. of it, bro. bro. We've been dominating. We've won no, it. No, I hear that. To... That's why you got to get these men out of season it. Season three, bro. It's the final season, but we That's dominated. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Bro, the final we dominated in the paint, fam. We've done it. Would... You know what? Against... My wife was like, oh, you got one of those already? I said, yeah, I know. I goes, yeah, I know. I got one of those already, but we're getting for another one, base. Now, but yeah, it's wicked, man. Um, Anyway, um, that's that's really that. That's really that of good news. Wale, um, I didn't want to be bad mind. I do want to come to you though, but the bar's high. Hey, <laughs> hey Joe, it's so the funny. So, wow. Honestly, this week I'm thinking, oh, like. Uh. That's a crazy. <laughs> so, that's what just happened there was crazy. I have to just pull KG a flag on the plate. <laughs> yeah. Who does that? Who does that? Bro? <laughs> That's we insane. We do. This man said, "I wanna, <laughs> I wanna get out of your team." <laughs> Mad. I ain't even like fam. For me, if no, this, if this is immature era, that's all it was. I just go quiet and go. All right, say no more. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come. Hey, right, well, hey, I apologize. That's a that's flagrant. That's a flagrant foul in it. Yes, yeah, funny. Because I, I was thinking, like, oh, it's, um, you wait till we get into that that competition. The, the man, the sport, everyone. Oh. Wally's about to destroy the heck yeah, out yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Wally's gonna be straight. I was in the gym press. thinking about that. Wally's gonna be like bench press. <laughs> bench press. It's more. We're starting it's, at hundred. <laughs> it's more racist that you're just saying that he's just a physical. That's what he's gonna bring to the thing. Is physical I didn't say prowess. that. But I said on that's the bench really press. Said but on the bench press, yeah. he's getting us both the hell out of here. Yeah, absolutely, we're finished. Let's Bro, not mess about. I was in the gym today thinking about the competition that we said here, and I was like. I'm losing. Of course. <laughs> I'm gonna. No, you know what? I'm not losing. I went to gym today, yeah. I was very pissed off at myself. I've been gym since little man was born, isn't it? Mm. Brother, you know what? You know how hard, how deflated it is to have to be like setting all your weights up and knowing you got to lower the weights to, to what you was normally at? Oh, fam, the ego in me was just like, no, shut up. <laughs> Dude, try to go back to my old weight, <laughs> get into like free, like, Mm-mm, it's different. <laughs> It's different. <laughs> no, you got to take them. And no. it's a humble experience taking them off as well, you know? Fam, fam, I hated it. No, while they're gone, what, what, what have you done, bro? Because we, we violated just now. We, you. Do you know what's the funny? Pot, the pot, so bro. Obviously Silence is agreeing. Every week, every week comes by and I think, oh, what can I talk about this week on the pod? Yeah. Then I was like, oh, well, you know, I changed the washing machine. I was, I was, I was, See, this you, guy, this guy outmans us. This guy just outmans us, bro. No, what do you mean again? You've done the radiator before, bro. Yeah, so, but, but we, we're kind of in the process of doing the kitchen and stuff, so... We'd got like a new washing machine, took out the old one, put in the new one, which is- Did you do it by yourself? Yeah. Of course he did. I installed the new washing machine, connected yeah, to the- It's not hard though. It's not hard, this man. Guy, Come on. You see what I'm saying? You know they, ch- they charge these, 115 pounds to do that? I paid. These, because there's a oh, skill. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there's a skill required. I, for a man to, I mean, for a man to drag out the machine and just connect some pipes and, and the plug. You see what I'm saying? See this? <laughs> this is the thing. This is where he gets us the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, because like, when he's like, what to so just do that a couple of pipes? And everybody had to think to himself, I've never come That's anywhere near doing something. Give me a show in a saga wood, bro. <laughs> 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 I'll swap the washing machine gladly. Man, for I'll that. show these men where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> no, no, no. But you know what? There's no, a time I need to do better. I need shot. to do better though. No, you're do- bro. Come on, we're no, taking the piss. I've, I've, got, I've got things I need to do. So, uh, for, literally, me being at the show is just a reminder that there's. 
ideas and stuff that I've had that I've spoken about for a long time. My wife has even spoken to me about. And yeah, I haven't made happen. So for me, it was just no. Like, that's okay, real. That's, that's real. real. That's for, actually no. We should put the pressure on him because no, that's, that's very he knows real. what to do as well. One if there's he, something that you're, he a, knows where the thing that you're sitting on. Pause. You got to go for that. Hey yo, yo that is can we be mature <laughs> gentlemen for yo, yo, one episode? For that. Can you be mature gentlemen Did for one we episode? Know this thing that you come on, bro. You know that was out of pocket, bro. That that was beyond the pocket. Do we need was, to get like a flag? It like, was crazy. Like stuff. Stuff. <laughs> one of the other, one of the other, just, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just throw the thing. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> now nah, if you if you put the, the graphic on this flag, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> No, we need a flag, bro. And man was making a good point. Bro. No, but for real though, there's a lot of time where people just be like having these things on hiatus and it's just like, nah, bro, give give those things time, fam. Because I feel like good ideas, yeah? This is a real one. When I have good ideas, I treat them like things that are just, they're not, they're not yours. <laughs> they come to you as a thing that's like, yo, <laughs> can I manifest here? Yeah. Mm. If not, I'll go somewhere else. The amount of times I've seen ideas, just somebody just oh. does them and I'm just like, all oh, right, you're you left. talking up the thing. You left. <laughs> yes, yeah, you left. Yeah, yeah. But hey, good ideas are snakes, then, oh, because they mm. ain't got no loyalty to no one, fam. Listen, yeah, I'd be on. Like, when jokes come to me, oh. brother, I respect every single time I hear a joke. I'm like, oh, that's funny still. Bro, I've two, three o'clock in the morning. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's be, and, and the notes don't make no sense. Yeah. You be reading the notes, it's just like, yeah, obviously, man moving to your girl, but he's your bridge. And these times, it, it's just like, <laughs> hey, there's a Les Brown quote about that where he talks about um, like people being given like visions and dreams and um, being on your deathbed and looking at you or all the dreams and the ideas that came to you specifically that's bad mind. and only you could give them life that's crazy now they have to die with you because you didn't manifest them or you didn't. so in my pain I need to see everything I that feel I like achieve. crap you look get out all these dreams nah, and stuff no 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 Go, uh, listen, go to your good memories. Go, that, how dare you? In that moment there. Show me what happened. Yeah, one. bro. Just the highlights, please. Can you imagine, uh, uh, bro, and what? they say that um, that's where potential is, isn't it? All the potential, like, yeah. is the, you know. That's so, where it goes to, yeah. That's where it goes. So, again, that will not be our portion. Amen. In this room. Listen, guys, it's the year 2024. And you know what happened? We should have known how the year started that we're going to get mad things happening. Absolutely. And Cat Williams set off the year. I'm calling this year the year of beef, bro. Mm. The year of beef, we're in it, fam. Cat Williams first. After Cat Williams, we had Steph London and... Um, Jada Kingdom. Jada Kingdom. After that, we've now... We, we walked into it. What was there? Was there been another one? No, we're finally here. We're at, finally, Nicki Minaj, yeah? And Meg and The Stallion, Meg the Stallion bro. And I'm telling you now, like, and don't get twisted, it hasn't just ended. You know it's the year of beef when Benzino, Benzino and Eminem, and fam, Eminem returned. Them man brew up this no-neck beef and just decided that this was going to be, let's pick that back up. I'm so confused at this Bro. beef. Because it's what there was, you think, how many times has Eminem killed you on bars? It's, it's annoying. Even, bro, even this many years later, and do you know what's so funny about it? I know that the in, the interest that I once had for like Eminem, Benzino, just the whole thing, yeah, is not there anymore because unless it's available for me to swipe like this yeah. on, on I Instagram, I, won't seek I am not going to list, look for those bars. And it's so mad, yeah, because we've lived so long enough, we've lived long enough now to the point where Eminem is like, mm, a bit corny with the bars, like... Lyrical miracle rap, like man, them don't. I don't really, mind. The, no, the, I don't mind it. Just, but it's like it's it's nostalgic for me to listen to yeah. Eminem bars. Sometimes I hear it and I think to myself, mm, no, no, yeah, because it has today. to be his palms are sweaty, palms are sweaty. I, I just want that. Week, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, when we go to that era, I can go, ah, oh, that's M, but new Eminem, new M, <laughs> new M, <laughs> bro. And the best thing is, I hate how I feel when I hear the bars now because I'm just like. Ah, that's good. You know a lot of When words. I was young, I would have loved that. <laughs> yeah, you, it, bro, I did. I was crazy yeah, 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 about yeah, everything. Yeah. But now it's just like, mm, you know, bare words. But like, at this <laughs> age, I need I need more <laughs> substance. So let's go to the elephant in the room, innit? Um, what do you call it? What's her name? Meg, Meg the Stallion, yeah? yeah? Meg the Stallion, obviously, she's had the Tory incident and things have got crazy for her. A lot of people have been talking on Meg the Stallion's name in it. And she's, mm. I think she's at the stage where she's like, I've had enough in it. Anytime she's, what do you call it? Anytime people see a picture of her, they kind of want to see if there's a, if there's bullet casings, you know, like there's, there's gunshot residue. Like people are getting crazy with the thingy. No, I'm telling you, this, you know is, what's this is what people are doing though. I know, I know. I'm but, telling you. But I, I, can't, I was a bit baffled, yeah, when there was basically saying that you got shot in the foot. 
And he can still talk? And it was, no. Con, because I've heard loads of stuff. No, but he shot the foot, but it apparently didn't hit no bones. Because. Uh, bare bones. No, I know. <laughs> I was thinking, well, how Clean. soft, how much fat is in the foot for this to have missed any bones? Like, I was just mad confused. But that's but my only she's had a, No, but the killer is. That, no. <laughs> she gotta drink more water. Okay. Uh, you know, that's those flags. So just, anyway, nah, nah, look, check this out. She's had a traumatic experience. It has been. And I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm one of the people that are on her side in the sense of raw, like, she's been through a madness. Rappers talk about busting case all the time and whatever. So she wants to now she wants to pop her shit in it. She wants to say stuff in it. And fair enough in it. Let her do her thing. And she dropped her song hiss in it. And I ain't gonna lie to you. She went out. She had me Googling. Mm. She had me Googling. Didn't know what Mega's Law was. I learned what Mega's Law was. And I thought, oh. Yeah. Then she said that talking about rappers, talking about BBLs and having the same scars. Um, I said, yo, 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 you know, like man, them talking about BBLs, but bro, you're walking around with the same scars. Bro, that's nasty. I heard that was, a, I heard that was a saying, I heard that was a sub for um, Drake or someone crazy or something like that. Yeah, I've been hearing that he got his, he got his stomach. He got his like stomach, that. or they're saying this. Nah, male, BB, male BBLs. What do you think on that first? What, man BBLs? Yeah, man, them BBLs. <laughs> Listen, yeah. It, it's a wild time. It's it's mad when Jim Jim is Jim is for us, isn't it? Like as men, we can change our body. Mm. We can literally go to the gym, commit, and and pattern up. There's yeah. certain things women can't do in the gym. Yeah, as much as they might get missold certain training video, you can get this body from. Yeah. It's like come on, but for us, yeah. bro, go in there and commit to the bench. Commit to the bench and squats and see how that will change your life. There's a skinny guy that looks like Dal Sim right now that's furious about what you're saying because he can't. No, no, he can. He's going to just need to an extreme training program for his body. This is, see, with, with the gym thing, yeah, I think I hold some slightly unpopular opinions. There are, I think, a minority of the population who have genuine genetic conditions that affect their ability to put on and to lose weight. Mm -hmm. But I think they are such the minority. But I think people just exaggerate that. Oh, but like we, everyone has roughly the same size skeleton relative yeah. to their height. I think um, the, the number of people that have genuine genetic issues that prevent them from being in the shape that they want to be in, I think, is so small that it, it's not. It doesn't really register in that way. I think for a lot of people, it is a case of dedication for long enough mm -hmm. or wanting it. Like people will go to the gym. I've been to the gym. It's like, well, what were you doing in the gym? That's, that's you know right. I mean? It's that's like right. if you just want to remodel your kitchen or work on your car, do you go with instructions or you just try and work out as you're going along as improvise? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are going into it um, without having a strategy. Sometimes you might need to get a trainer for a little while or mm. looking at your diet, what are you eating? You know, um, I remember there's a show where people were um, on, a, on a diet and I was saying, I've only eaten this, I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. But they forgot about all these Phantom Snickers and the Mars drinks. bars and drinks and stuff yeah. that they were literally they followed her drinks. around. And she went to the shop two or three times, but she did not remember that happened. That's and right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I do think that like, there is a, a case for personal accountability. Again, people probably won't get onto me for that, but I think like, do you know what I mean? I mean you put yourself in a situa situation where you're basically saying, I'm so helpless. So what I'm but, hearing but hold from on, you- Hold on, hold on, I used to be like that as well. Like I used to like I used to proper research like the whole thing about my weight. Like, how comes I can't put weight on? I'd be on protein shakes and began to the gym. But then if I looked at my workout when I was like, probably about four or five years ago, it wasn't serious. The way it like, it must've been about two, three years ago. I was like, you know what, let me really lock in at the gym. And the way my route was for how I was breaking down my workouts was I'm gonna commit to all the stuff I hate doing mm. because that's the stuff I avoid, like the bench and squats. I'd be getting other like alternatives like, oh, let me do a single single chest press and then I'll do the flying machine. And then da, da, da. it's like, no bro, the bench is where it is, bro. Squats, these compound workouts, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Cause I would avoid those heavy, and feel like I was making up for it in these other little variations. This is it, no. bro. Nah. <laughs> Even KG, then my body started to change. He was just doing bare cardio at first. He's saying, no, I'm bare like, cardio. Yeah, the way it's not really going down. I'm like, yeah. you're, not, you're not really building the engine to burn fat if you're just doing bare cardio. Yeah, Your body's getting more efficient yeah, yeah, yeah. at keeping it, basically. Mm. Yeah, that's and that's it. That's the those are the little pieces. Even the fact that now, yeah, because I hate the rowing machine in it. I hate it, but oh. I know it's gonna. I know that that's where the work is. That's hey, a, someone a said we should do happening. three thousand meter row in the comments. As they a, need to challenge. They need to shut. I, right, let's do it. I think it was Muller Muller or right. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Right. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Right, I'm on it. I'm on He's it. winning that. All right, cool. Well, now, now I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 listen, let's do it. You look what is it? Who guiding. gets there first, or who can get there? Because is, is it a who can get? There? What is it? I don't well, understand. It's first, isn't it? Same thing, isn't it? 
First past the post. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So that's what we All right, watch. Now yeah. I'm locked in. Say I no more. Say no more. Ages, I hate this. All right, we're doing that's it. That's my warm up now in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, say no, more. say no more. Say no more. I might oh, win that one. I hate that I might win well. that one. No, you won't. No, you won't. Not endurance. Not no, endurance ones. I'm on it. If you caught me off guard. Mentally, if you caught endurance. Me off guard. Anyway. No resistance though, because I will win. I will win for as long as we're doing this side by side. If I can see you going hard, look, I will not stop. Okay, cool. We can. Let me by myself. We've got to hit this time. Oh, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> Remember, anyway, I don't want this to be like, let's not compete right now, guys. We need to, we need, we'll talk about BBS. You lot are moist. Who's we're you talking lot, about BBS. for himself. Someone no, in the I'm comments, saying right even now. Even Muller goes, he goes, not you lot um, all, all put off by Trap's confidence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know, I'll, anyway, no, anyway, back, just because, no, back to the just comments, because back to the, the let's get to the thing because we could, BBO, yeah, this yeah, could yeah. be like a men, a male ego thing that's not easy for some of the for listeners. you lot, yeah. We might put on some of the listeners. All right, say yeah? no more. Sorry, I apologize. All right, cool. We that's coming, so we don't have to talk about it no more. Yeah, right, cool. BBLs. Yeah, good thing we don't. You lot, no <laughs> <laughs> BBLs. Yeah, you no, man the, are saying the man BBL thing is 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 crazy. It will never. I'm gonna lie, I'm here for the jokes because it will if, never not be crazy. I don't what care. What are you saying? So your boy comes up to you, what like it? one of the man them come back, like we're at a man them. No, <laughs> where a man them function? He goes, rah, you know, he's topless though. I done light, I done light lipo. That's why it's mad though, because then they're there. They'll have, like, they'll have like the belly, but then the sculpted like, abs on top yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing that. Big brother like that. Yeah, it, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. He was like cut, but then Bam. had a round belly at the same time. Yeah, man, man, man pulls up with hollow. Remember, like even Simon Cowell apparently had his chest done or something. There's like a lot that. of Those people, bro. But I'm just looking at this ring giving it, bro. Man pull up with hollow muscles. Move. That's that's nah, dog. That ain't it, fam. But then you're talking about this. You know, and the matter thing is, you can't even do like a a muscle thing on for for guys because if you're chest is big and the arms and the triceps ain't big as well and the shoulders ain't developed it don't make sense yeah no but then you gotta do so much to balance out everything that's happened right yeah, here you might as well just go into the gym bro, you might as well have right. go gym bro you and then man. you're gonna have to go gym anyway to maintain any no new fat this you is, can't have new fat suddenly pop up fam. this is the thing about the BBL that people are not saying what I need to see is what it turns into in the end because there needs to be a study on everyone with fake teeth and BBLs because Listen, I yeah. need to know. I, I thought there's a, a panorama documentary coming. I saw a post, yeah. 20 Where years from now. 30, right. 20 to 30. We're still in the era. I was saying it, this man. to my missus the other day. Listen, man, let me land on this one. Yes. Yeah. I didn't even know this was happening. <laughs> this one, brother, there's a video that's going around. It's, or it's insane, bro. Talk it's these me. perfect teeth. <laughs> and then the dentist is rustling all of them off. And everything underneath is rotten. It's so. Bro, it is gr it's a horrible watch. Yeah? Wait, say that again. Bro, all of the teeth, the, the dentist, and the teeth, they've all come off. Well, these whites and then underneath is the just disgust. Bro, As everything in, is bad. Everything underneath is rotten. Because you can't, they need to see light. Brother, you, basically, apparently, you shave down the thingy and they're never seeing light a day again. No, but some people are getting the, the veneers over the teeth that ain't been like treated and stuff. So oh. they're never saying that some of these men walk around and their breath stinks. The teeth stink. There's gonna be a big documentary. Just entomb the decay in, Fam, in the mouth. I feel sorry for the because you know you got to reload the peas on them. Yeah, in like ten years time or not get them done again, bro. I just hope that everybody the who has them, the financial crisis has not touched them. The situation, they stay. You got to pray the financial crisis. They stay up. You got to stay up because God forbid anyone's in a position where your teeth stink and no brushing is saving the day. And especially if you got, and the, you know the hidden smell, the hidden but like <laughs> over there, because it looks like it should be okay. I'm looking at your mouth, thinking raw, but everything's porcelain and that. But there's a smell. How well, you're talking to people always off, off axis, just, just and like, you know, and you know what? So uh, you know, and Africans, yeah, we got this thing because we had the sound. We got, <laughs> <laughs> bro. And the thing is, I you can you, know, you can tell, <laughs> you can tell your breath stinks because people's faces just. <laughs> Every, everything's deep full. <laughs> You're like, what time it is it? Like, up. The man just be like, a man just looking at the window, like, it, you know, what it is? it's because the natural body reaction to bad breath is to retreat. <laughs> so the man, you be talking, and the middle of it's just like, <laughs> you gotta wrap that conversation up. It's bad exercise. You gotta wrap that conversation. I'm telling you, there's gonna be a documentary, bro, and it's um, gonna be, and you know, Netflix are gonna do it so oh. great as well. Halitosis, <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. Oh, it won't even just see that. Like you can see, cause uh, you know, um, surviving the BB, bro. I'm telling you, era. six, bro. We're still in the era of everyone doing it in it and going crazy, yeah. 
it's got to be 30 years. You know what it said? I remember when people used to do that. It's, it's when we are 30 years removed. It's like how people, that Daytona thing, that thing where all the grandmas were going to that rave where um, spring break, that whatever you call it, freak, oh, freak, no, um, freak yeah, freak it. So they were having think, fun in called. that moment. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. <laughs> now we're going to see our generation's version of the nonsense that they've been because doing there's to their too bodies. many people here that have healthy teeth teeth that are absolutely fine yeah and they are cutting them out yeah for these new Get teeth braces i think the worst thing is though when people are going so obviously you've got like the a1 cosmetic surgery yes well established nice settings then you have the eh. yeah the and, discount. Then got, and then you've got the one where it's like i'll do it <laughs> yeah i'll do it <laughs> Like, Made what? for Nana Rose. Watch, watch. All the, t- all the t- yeah, whole set. No like, problem. Even when you go to Turkey, it's not, uh, well, I can only get the front bit done. So I've got the front, that's the front that you can see in the smile. If I smile too wide, then. Jesus. No, pe- people and have. Man, them, and some people, people, some people get their teeth far down too and, much as well. So yeah. it's like, they're supposed to far down them a bit, but sometimes it's just too much. I don't think people realize, yeah, once those teeth are far down, there's no more teeth. There's, there's nothing that can happen again to save those. It's, d- it's done. You got these nubs now, and if these teeth on the top go bad, it's nubs. I've got it. So the, the new it's, midlife crisis is going to be dentures, isn't it? Dentures. People, the whole denture community. I'm telling you, there's a community. People wow. be you know what? That forty to fifty stretch. Aye. Dentures everywhere. Have you seen that? Dentures have you listened, at forty. No, what are you lot not missing? Yeah, have, do you not remember them? What do you call it? Have you got? Uh, did you? Did the government convince you to get a diesel motor, <laughs> bro? There's gonna be. Have you got? No way, no have fee. You got, wait, bro? There's gonna be no ambulance way, no chases fee. for and the for the listen, dental when the BPO. And good luck trying to sue them Turkish places because them men will dissolve that <laughs> business. <laughs> Oh man, because I got what do you call it? I got the Invisalign thing, mm. and I think that's just because my a good thing too. Like, I did Invisalign. I was like, you know what? Because my my teeth looked like they're warring, fam. It looked like those clashing, bro. That's it funny. looked like a bro. It was a mixtape, bro. And my, and I remember getting said it, bro. <laughs> bro, my thing was mad. <laughs> yeah, mine was a war, fam. It was a dub plate, fam. So I'm so happy that. And, I, and the killer is, I'll be smiling in pictures, bro. Right. But then it was insane. I'm so happy that I saw you know this out, I but I think this is the, this is the maximum. No, 100%. Me, I've got a, a, a side tooth missing. And you know how that happened? Oh. Boxing. Sparring, fam. You got banged. Bro, here's what happened, yeah? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the story, yeah? Someone so, punch your teeth out. No, here this, here this, here this. It, it, well, yeah, effectively. <laughs> but here this though, right? So imagine, man's been, Wait, what did you do to that other person's teeth when he punched your teeth? No, out? listen, listen. Is to, that person you still man, got all his teeth? Listen to the story. I just want to know. Wait, I want to ask you. Well, I want to ask you important no, questions. Let me, let me land the plane. Last let week, me ask last week, you. you I'll let you land. Your mad story, I'll let you land, but let I want to know because nope, I will not be missing so, any parts of this story. So someone, someone boxed out your teeth. Yes. Okay. Cool. Carry on. So imagine, yeah, the whole training process in this in this lead up to the fight. Yeah, I'm mm. training properly, right? Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be serious. I ain't going out. One weekend comes up and I'm like, oh, you know what, my cousin's around, let me just go out with a man, go out, drinking a little bit. This is like Saturday, get mad drunk, like one idiot fam. Sunday, I wake up with a hangover. Monday, I'm feeling like crap, we've got sparring today. Mm. And I'm like, you know what, I'm not going. And then the time's coming up, I'm like, oh, I should go, man, let me just go, because I promised myself I wouldn't miss any sessions. Get there. Bro, I'm getting beat up, fam. This, no. I'm sparring this big guy today, like, bro, it was just a different weight class. Not like a crazy difference between us, like on an outside world level, but in boxing terms, he's like two weight classes. Anyway, we're sparring, fam. The drinking thing what was he has like, affected what, what me, bro. Because what, what weight was he doing? Like, Middleweight. Okay, cool. And he was, would have been like cruiser probably. Okay, yeah. cool. So he's a lot more, anyway. So we're sparring. This guy's beating me up, fam. Like I'm just taking bare like punches. Everything's clean as well. Mm. And we're sparring in a studio. It's not even in a ring. So it's like a dance studio. So it's a mirror. Bro, I got punched. <laughs> Bang. I remember my head hit the back of the room. It went boom, boom. <laughs> Bro, and, and I, I remember at that time, I'm looking at the trailer like, come on, get me out of it. <laughs> I'm done, bro. Keep going. Anyway, the spa, like we finished spa, go home. And I remember wake up next day and there's a, like, it's it just, you know that feeling of like, something's not, that's not, that's not, mm. Mm. I'm thinking, let me, that should usually go away, brother. <laughs> Shot teeth. Oh my God! I'm not even gonna lie, yeah. In true, in true heroic Trav fashion, I, I said, "There's no way I'm losing now. I've lost something on my, a part of myself on this journey. There's no way I'm losing the fight, fam. <laughs> no lies." So the person that boxed out your teeth, yeah, 
Has he still got all his teeth? All of his teeth, fam. Damn. Did you not feel in the next spot that you should have taken his teeth out as well? I spied him again. I did better. But the guy's just too big. I couldn't even beat him off. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny about this story? I know Travis wanted his teeth. I, want, I, know, I, wanted, Travis, I know Travis wanted two or three I teeth. wanted the most revenge, fam. But you know what? It's, it's what it was where it's like, I know I probably got, I got to get that sorted out at some point, but I just, <laughs> just ain't around to you, man. You'll get it sorted out, bro. I'm going to get it sorted out. I'm going to get it sorted out. But just don't go crazy, man. Don't do... What are you saying? Just go... <laughs> maybe like, yeah, I'm just going to get this sorted out. Come back. No, just while you're there, just Different. like, just run it round. <laughs> the whole Tic Tacs. A whole mouthful of Tic Tacs, bro. Nah, it's better than, other than tablets. <laughs> A mouthful of Rennies, fam. You know, because sometimes they look like big Rennies. <laughs> <laughs> No, when they get the extra large ones, when they get the extra large ones, you should be, hey, bro, I got the XL for this. <laughs> bro, the love of hip hops. You got the. The XL 7s. You better the, the XL 4s. The love of hip hop 11s, fam. <laughs> the love of hip hop 2s. Do you know what's interesting about, um, about the videos as well? Have you seen Attack on Titan? No. Yes, I watch Attack on Titan. Okay, so do you like the teeth? Like, does it remind you of that when you see the teeth on people having this? Like, <laughs> It's like no insides. It's just like just the same ones all the yeah, way around. Just, You're like, bro. So you just got to bite steak like it's the front teeth all the way around. <laughs> you can't even get into that steak like that. <laughs> no canines. <laughs> Take him, man. I was to eat this. It's cold, bro. <laughs> you know, you say you're not hungry. No, I'm just gonna hey, get. Much. I'm just gonna get ice cream. I just want hey, ice cream. Do you know what's so funny about this? We're supposed to. We're supposed to be giving our take about make the stallion of the dish. <laughs> Bro, we're so far removed from the this. No, but let, well, let's just quickly say this. So obviously, thing, I think the only thing I'll accept, yeah, yeah, is when I see something man with the hairline thing. Obviously, that's an area that's near to her. It's <laughs> near and dear to your heart. I, I look at that because of, you know what? I think I might have one of those in me still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Life, um, you know what, man? I feel like, I don't know, man. Someone has to set pace of saying, you know what? We're just age. Someone has to set pace. <laughs> like a grand MC like, yeah, I've got the hairline too. Let's just age. You uh, know, hey, like that. Gracefully, gracefully. Gracefully, like, I feel people are so into this thing of being perfect that even aging is almost like a bad thing. Age is like a badge of honor, fam. No, You've really actually on, really though. got older. Let's just, so let's say your beard just starts falling out. That's the one thing I can't manage. <laughs> okay. So, That's the one thing so I can't manage. Are you going to take it to like get a black nah, teaser? If are I, you, listen. Are you, are you going to take it to get it saved? What? Are you going to take it to get it fixed? If my beard, if your beard out, just falls out, getting turkey. Even that, I don't think I can manage. My wife said to getting me bald, because bald I got, in the face. no, I had two two greys that came through, yeah, and I'm not ready. That's one thing I'm not ready for. You hit the I just, told my you wife, hit just for men, just for men, just for whatever, bro, just for um, you know, just because I don't so think you're allowed to sell just for men anymore, innit? Yeah, but hold on though, when you got the just for men, yeah, did yeah. you like put just a little bit and then just under one hair? I haven't done it yet. Oh, but you're going to. I'm gonna if I go grey, I'm I'm doing it. I can't deal with that, bro. <laughs> just I can't <laughs> But don't you think it's a catch twenty two with the just for men thing? Because if you progressively get grey, and I think this is what the problem is in Hollywood, if you progressively just let yourself get older, it's fine. But everyone tries to hold on to this certain period in time. And, and then, then eventually when it gets long, suddenly now you just look old. Steve, you've gone Steve from, Harvey fam. Yeah. One even, day you got the perfect high top, next minute you bald. <laughs> That's clean, a bald. unit. That's a man unit. That's a man unit. I think Steve Harvey owes the um the whole black community an apology. Yeah, because he had everyone's high tops under pressure, fam. We never thought we could ever get a shape up that sharp. Artificial high top. Had, oh, had us he owes everyone. He had owes us competing everyone. with perfect. The fact that there's a picture of his man unit in every barbershop near you, yeah, and that's not real. You know that picture? There's everyone there and Steve Harvey and the ludicrous. Not the <laughs> you know man. the ludicrous? You yeah, didn't, the ludicrous they're always there. Yeah. You didn't do that haircut. Like, why is it there? But, um... No, one thing, just quickly getting onto this, because mm-hmm. I have to talk about fans and when fans do too much. Megan, she was good in that. Megan done a, like- She might have destroyed. She won. This one, mm-hmm. did, she played a song and I thought, you know what? Nicki Minaj is a vet. Nicki Minaj is going to come and get this smoke. Uh, yeah. And then she, the, the artwork, she had done the Bigfoot thing and she had the big, bigger shoe and then she had the little tiny pink mm-hmm. shoe. I said, this is going to be wicked. When I listened to it that, did it, it didn't do what I, what I thought was going to happen. Still, bro, what would you want to call it? Was it what, what level of mid was it? Remember, the barbs are serious as well. Yeah, no, nah, look, man, listen, barbs. It's what it was. Where if she's as great, she's as great as you guys say she is. You've got to be able to be able to call out when sometimes it's not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could do better than that. It's like Much it's like better. when Joe Budden sticks it on Drake. He don't stick it on Drake because he's like Drake's rubbish. He's like, no, bro, go in there and rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's one of those ones where it's just like, bro, if you you gotta cook her, bro, 
This, say, this I didn't. Was so annoyed. This didn't cook her like that. Still. No, I'm not gonna lie. I was annoyed. I, I was actually upset that I played it for myself. It got to that stage. No, let's be call it. Fair call enough. it. It's, it was bad, bro. I said, Nikki, you, bro. I was like, you know, because you come for the dumb stuff, innit? You're like, I can't wait, like. Bro, yeah, you didn't, didn't really come outside like that. You should have, yeah. Bro, there was more. Oh, uh, it was. It, I didn't like it. Uh, that that one day let me know that you know what. Maybe we need to wrap up the year of beef. Is there one more beef that you would like to? You wouldn't mind seeing anyone in? Um, I don't know. Wally, same question to you. Is there one more beef that you wouldn't mind seeing? Well, to be fair, I thought there was going to be another one with Drake and Most Def. Yeah, that's most weird. weird. Most of, uh, you know, before we even get into this here, I've got to tell a funny most of story still. Talk to me. So imagine, yeah, after the Chappelle, no, this is, Chappelle came over one time and he did Backyard that week. We performed at the Backyard. Come on. I think that was, uh, another one where he was doing the thing Leicester Square. Yeah. We go to the show and we're all just there backstage chilling and it's just like vibes, right? Um, unrelated, Naomi Campbell walks in, right? Mad. They're friends, like it's just his his friendships are like at that level. It's yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madonna came and the security was just like everyone has to leave. Wait, <laughs> and, so and we you, had to go. Wait, so let me just get this right. <laughs> oh. You're at a show, yeah, with Dave Chappelle mm -hmm. and most deaths there, and Naomi Campbell's in attendance as well. Madonna pulls up at some point later. It was a very wild night. What? Naomi Campbell, yeah, she walked in, and you know, like someone has a presence. Yeah, bro, she walked in. Bam, bam, she, like the the foot, the footstep, boom, boom. I remember chatting to, um, I think it was Joe Ball, um, comic on the thing as well. As she walked in, I felt like our conversation had to stop. Yeah, it just stopped. And I was thinking, I don't, I don't, I don't fancy this person. Yeah, but your energy has walked in. Everybody has to. We have to understand. That oh yeah, you, someone just, stepped in the room. I moved out of the way. Like as she's walking towards, it was like the type of look where it's like I don't see you. Like I'm, I'm going straight past. I was just like, damn, that's a that's a superstar. <laughs> it was mad. Anyway, so most death is there. Yeah, and I'm gassed, bro, because I'm like, bro, that's flipping most death, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So anyway, I go over there. Yeah, he's chatting to Cipher Sounds here. This is a very embarrassing story. So I go over there. <laughs> And I'm just like, yo, bro, like, it's a pleasure to meet you, bro. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, he's like, oh, man, I appreciate it, man. Like, it was a proper, like, just yeah. a humble one. And we're there now. And um, they, they kind of, convo kind of continues. So I go, bro, like, like, not, not like, what did I rap? Shut up, man. <laughs> so I've taken my I phone got, I got a mixtape. I want to get a pic with most death, yeah? yeah? So the phone is out. In my mind, this is, is gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I passed the phone to Cypher and I'm positioning myself like, yo, bro, it's right if we get a pick. Phone is in his hand. <laughs> of course, it's right. If we get... He goes, sorry, man, no pictures. <laughs> bro, <laughs> taking up bro, bro I'm standing there. <laughs> bro, as if I'm almost, I'm almost side by side with him. And now I've got to come back round. <laughs> and let me, <laughs> let me get that back. <laughs> it's the stretch as well. Bro, Cypher oh. face is like, Mm, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, no, that's, you know what I mean? It's minor. So then I get home, right? <laughs> Go through this, we went to the after party. After party, it was mad. Like, it was just, yeah. you know, when men at that level know each other, I was just like, I can't, I'm not even trying to be involved in this thing. This yeah. is just one of those, I was in the I room and I went home. Anyway, I get home and I follow the, the photographer who does all their stuff. Most they've taken bear pics with people. <laughs> No, you have a reason, bro. That's the <laughs> hating arc. No. You have a reason. Nah, to do you know what is yeah? Because I'm I'm a fan, and I don't you don't, you don't know what's going on with people's life in in these moments, in it. Like it is what it is. Like I weren't upset by it, but I know there's gonna be a time where I meet him again <laughs> under better circumstances. I'll be like, hey, you did mug me up at one point. <laughs> no, nah, because you know I I've had one of those. I've got one of those stories as well. I met I met Skepta, big mm. fan, of, bro, big fan of Skepta. Yeah, it was painful, man. It was like I've seen him, and I was like. Like we're in the green room and he's there. I'm doing some comedy, like, and then he walks in, and I'm like, "Oh, skip, man, skip." Da, 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 da. And that goes, but it's quiet. Like I'm not getting anything back. And I was like, "Yeah, like I did this." And he goes, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> I goes, ah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I said, yeah, no. Ah, he said, he, 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 I was like, oh, you must not know. Like, I tried to kind of 
tell him who I was thinking the reaction. I'm shed I'm shed like, <laughs> bro, inside, yeah, oh, bro, oh, inside, oh. I was burning every album because I knew, <laughs> bro, because in my heart, you know, the ones when I'm like, bro, I know your lyric, you know, like it's one of those that was a moment for me, though. That's why I do over, I do too much when I see people that know me, I don't care where I'm at, I'm like, you did it because I know what the feeling of is, so you know, put yourself I out follow, there like I, fo I listen to you because imagine with what we do, some of the shows we're in, and this, that, and the other. People got so used to hearing us that when they see us, they feel like you know me already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. the killer is, I felt stupid because Skepta's got in his bars that he's not really a friendship -y type of guy. He says, "Look, I'm, I can be miserable and stuff." Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was a bit mad. I, I just know that I, I didn't it, leave. It's, it's one thing great. to hit. It's one thing to hit those bars. It's another thing to experience it in the it's, moment, bro. Man. It was hard for me to listen to Skepta for a while. Are you? I'm not are, you lie. are you? It took, people, yeah? to, it took me time to forgive. Is it hard for you, that's funny. Is it hard for you, yeah? Yeah. To show love to people that even though they're in the same, same industry or not even the same industry, but they're, they're, they're known in the way that, but because you're somebody in the game yourself, do you find it hard to be a fan in those moments? No, but there's, there's, no, there's rules though. Like even now, like I've told my missus, like when we go to the Sag Awards, we're going to see everyone. I said, babes. Have you told her to not be too excited by anyone? Said, babes, don't. This is where we don't do excitement. A <laughs> Denzel could walk past. We we've, just we've been here before. This. That's funny. I said, babes, this one year because I get and she does it. She, my wife likes to play silly games as well. Like she's funny. Like if she could <laughs> for banter, she'll be more excited for no, no reason just to guess the person. She's silly like that. She goes like she might see someone from Love Island and move mad. No, because oh, she's really excited. She just thinks, oh, this will be fun. Because <laughs> she's like, that's look how guess they are. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, no, bro, you're just on, you're just on it. You're on, you're on holiday for six weeks. And now you think you're celebrity. Move. That's, she's that's, got that in her, innit? That's so anyway. wild. You guys are so perfect for each other. So then we watch you sleep and now you think you're. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Where where is is I go, babes, this one here. Because this one, it'll be real. This yeah, one, yeah, she, yeah. I said, babes, we don't. This one here, we're going to cruise through. <laughs> when even, because I said, babes, even there's moments where I'm going to be losing it, yeah? We can't lose it. <laughs> Even when, uh, David, uh, so wait, Attenborough, the guy that does all the wildlife, yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. you're a big part of my childhood. I saw him. Calm and here we like. see. Was it, was it just like a light handshake thing? Calm, I didn't even do the handshake thing. You just, what, little calm. salute? Mm. Yes, fam, what are you yeah. saying? Good, yeah? <laughs> That's anyway, whatever you see, even if it, it doesn't matter, but don't get twisted. There'll be moments where you can let your hair down, yeah. But we have to, because this is Holly. This is like kind of Hollywood, mm. and then they, we need to know that, bro, you belong. You can move. A you belong, way. yeah. We belong here, babe. So we're gonna just cruise you through. Little heads up, though. Obviously, after the Cat Williams interview, if anyone pulls you into the back room, <laughs> do not go in there. <laughs> Wait, 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 are you not going to be looking at, bro, if I'm in the next if you seven blow up, Fast and Furious, if, if, you blow up, to, if you blow up after this trip, I'll know that you was in the back room. No, no, that's not fair though. Wait, come back if limp. I'm in, no, if I'm in eight Fast and Furious, hey, what you say, cat? but then I've got the, but then you see my, I ain't with my missus no more. What did KG do out there, cat? Bro, I've got the new, what do you call it? I've got the new missus in the unit. <laughs> this guy comes back with the Steve Harvey hair. This guy was in the back room. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. that's joking. I'm joking. I'm nah, because can you imagine? I might get that. That's a mad I might narrative. get that wicked movie. That's a mad narrative. I might get <laughs> oh, yeah. And this is the clip. Bro, this is the clip that they'll use in the YouTube video to say that. <laughs> bro, you know that. <laughs> they be like, look at his laugh. It's a hesitant laugh. It's a, it's a nervous laugh. <laughs> zooming in and stuff. Like, look this at his shapes. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, we got music in the background, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're, bro. We're. <laughs> but is that thing that saying that um, if you had like a. A fan, the treat. If we had like, if we treat them like a star. If we had like a fan, no, if we, if we treat them like a star. They'll, they'll, uh, Hold on one second. You know what is no, it? Wait, wait, no, no, no. I got, I got something for you, bro. I got something for you. As no, I, I promise, like, and even, even, it's, it, it was, even, it's a even. Bit of it's, these past few months, yeah, knowing out. You always with me, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You always with me, yeah. I'll always, I'll always tell someone. That I'm a fan. I don't care. I allow yeah. myself to be a fan. I just, it's just something, but I'll give it the respect in terms of like, nah, bro, my journey, da, 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 da. No, you can You're, do that. Yeah, There's yeah, a cool yeah. way to do that though. There's no, but it has to be done. Just, you know what the moment's right. Like, don't get twisted. 
if I see Denzel, just if I've gone past Denzel on a, you're gonna go crazy in it. No, but dude, relax in my heart, mm. bro. Look how he acted when we interviewed Lennox Lewis, mm. bro. We look so smooth in that the, interview. The minute Lennox left, we, we jumping around jumped like, like Eden, children, <laughs> bro. You know what I mean? That's hilarious, man. Is it weird that I don't really get excited by celebrities? No, it's no, not. It's like, not. I'm, for me, I think well, I'm. I'm always interested in the difference between how they appear on screen and what they look like when you see them in person. So I'm like, oh, that's what you look like. But I don't, apart from, I think the person who I might be a little bit excited about might be Jeremy Clarkson, but that's only because of the car connection. I think this guy must know a lot about cars. We can have the maddest it's conversation. Of all the people. <laughs> no, but only on the- That's car like saying Piers Morgan family. <laughs> no, 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 but it's only on the car front. I was, I'm not talking about his political views. Well, does he make like cars? That. No, but he's a, <laughs> car, he's a car journalist. He's driven a lot of cars. If no, this guy saw Hammond, fam, he'd That's lose it. If he saw them together, he'd see them as the Trinity, fam. <laughs> oh my God, Hammond. I think you know all the people. I think the people that guess me yeah, are the yeah. people that I look at and I'm like, raw, like, either you're from the ends and you're a superstar now, yeah. or like, you're doing something that I badly want to emulate, yeah. like a Jamie Foxx or Chappelle. Oh. Those guys, those two. If I saw Nas, it'd be hard for oh. me to, what do you call it? Cause I'm a Nas, I'm a, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, a, no, it, I'll, it'll I'll be hard for me. I, I do the embarrassing one. There could be a verse. <laughs> I could see a verse. Nah. I could see a verse. How often do you think that happens to On me? the B side versus as well. It's a life we chose. <laughs> <laughs> ima- imagine Nas, awesome. yeah. He's just like going out to get some he's food. Chilling. or he's just, enjoying his life. He's just going to shop to get something. Just a casual day. Going to the gym maybe. And then he just, someone's like, hey, yo Nas. Hey, you don't let be crazy. Me, let, me, let me spit some bars to you. Hey, you know his response would be something like this. No, because yeah. we're not what, sure. Good shit. Good shit. Hey, you just been going crazy. You've been going crazy. No, nah, because you know. All I need is one mic. What's the No, that's <laughs> not going to get done. That's not going to get done. It's got to be the It's got to be the lost tapes. It's got to be something that he knows you're one of those guys. Like, you see when um, um, Trevor Noah met um, Buster Rhymes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he's like. But that was a bit more. I felt like that was a, there was a little bit of, like a little bit awkward the way he just went. Barring at him like that, you know, Buster looked like he wanted to just be like, all right, let's talk now. <laughs> he was just so cold. He's like, all right, I just got to get a grab. He's like, okay, I got to get involved. Yeah, Buster must have heard that, that particular rap <laughs> so much. No, is it not? So what you say, when you meet Clarkson, you're talking about the pistons and engines and all that. Oh, again. I want to know like about his car experiences, what the most amazing trip he's had, like what he recommends, what he what he sees as being the future car industry. I'm, I'm really interested to understand his views on, he, and his experience. The car, the car yeah. landscape. All the other stuff. I don't care. Well, that's magic. your one, that's your one then. That's your, your, that's your bars one. No, that's when you're talking, because Pro- asking him about where do you see cars going in the next couple of years. Yeah, but also crazy. like the experiences that he's had, like what's, what's been your favorite trip? And and it's not because it's probably just sounds like, it's probably questions that every other car guy would ask him as well. Yeah. But, mm. but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Just I, I'm not gonna be like, oh, there's Clarkson. Now <laughs> nah, you would do. He, he's yeah. coming away for selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I when I, when I see Gets here, I was guest. I went over and I was just like, yo, bro, one interview because he did one interview. Yeah. That inspired me at a mad yeah. place. And I was just like, bro, he did this interview. Da 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 da. And he's having a conversation. But previously on Twitter, I remember I was having a conversation. Of, uh, we were talking about MCs and that. And I said, right, I know so many gets bars. I reckon I could clash gets as gets, like with his yeah. bars. And I, he responded to it. He's like, come then. So imagine we're there chatting, da, 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 good comment. He goes, oh yeah, though. What are you saying? <laughs> <Classic>. <laughs> oh. I was just like, yeah, not now, obviously. You <laughs> 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 voted it. Um, it would have been a good moment. But he shouted out, po- shout out undefeated uh, oh, at the time. Six, He's like, yeah, six. I see you, man, boxing thing still. Six, da, da, da. six, six. That's cold. That's cold, man. All right, let's, moving on now. What's, what else is getting on? What kind of foolishness we got getting on? Let's move, let's move. So I saw this post, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? This one's actually, I saved this for the for the Patreon. This is a quite interesting one. Yeah. But have you seen this video? There's like a, I don't know what type of date night situation this was, but <laughs> date night was ruined after this, fam. So this this couple have clearly gone out to um Have you connected to the thing? Let me yeah, let me connect. Let me yeah, connect. connect connect. This couple have, <laughs> have obviously gone out. This one is mad. This one is a mad thing. This couple have gone out to like play a little, you know what I mean? A little young miniature golf and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little uh, what, what do you call it? Swing what, what do you, what's the uh, thing called? No, what? Swingers. It's like no, a golf that range. Thing. A, a golf range or oh, driving range. Yeah, driving yeah, range, yeah, that's it. Bear, I mean, yeah. So this that out. Ah, you know, it's just music, it's just music. So this woman swings, but she spins herself off the second floor, fam. And I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, nah, no. <laughs> how are you, 
How? It's the man's reaction. Bro, bro he can't believe it. He's like, this what she like? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone over there like, oh, oh flip sake, <laughs> man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's so disgusted. <laughs> and the husband, the husband is on some. Have you, have you done that? He just run off. Bro, no, he's going downstairs. Oh, he's going downstairs he's to try and see what's going she's on. on. She fell up there on the top balcony. That's like 20 feet. Bro, that's a nasty, especially you, the worst drops are the ones unexpected, like Fine. like that. Like you was, and usually when you take an unexpected drop, you should not go. The gravity situation shouldn't be that serious, bro. Fam. Bro. I looked at that and I'm like, I don't even feel comfortable laughing because I'm like, bro, that must have injured her, bro. She bro. done the Pepsi Max drop film. She done the Chocadero Pepsi Max. Say, <laughs> this guy, you're tapped, fam. You're tapped. But you know what the maddest thing is? <laughs> yeah, how messed up it is, yeah? For those guys' reaction on the ground floor to be that where you just go and turn around and walk away. What did you think it was raining girl, fam? <laughs> Man, look your foot. I'm not going out there. Suppose another one lands. Are you dumb? Go it's, help her. She's ripping her up, fam. It's raining, gal. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's the Jamaican version. Gal. Put in a pump, pump. Put in a pump, pump. <laughs> it's raining, gal. <laughs> Holy ba pump, pump, fall from the sky. <laughs> raining, gal. <laughs> Holy ba pump, pump. <laughs> it's raining, gal. Holy Drop like <laughs> rainfall. <laughs> yeah, it. <laughs> Hey, yo, shut up. <laughs> and you know, this, and you know, this, they'll be that wicked yardy man, dance. 12 men no, they'll be that verses. wicked yardy dance when he just drop on the floor for no reason. No, no, you no. can't put that past them, fam. Only for you, only for you, only for you. Only for you, only for you. With a swing and swing. <laughs> a swing and only for you. Oh, my days, fam. <laughs> yeah, heat. Uh, so you that know what? Okay, we send apologies. Man, man. Let's send apologies because apologies. Done a lot. Did we go too far? Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, apologies, apologies to the um to the girl who to fell. Woman, man. Maybe the sound was just mad, and that's what the other guy turned away. Maybe she was just like, oh, it like you know, that, the, the falling sound. That sound when you. It must have been kind of off putting still because you just there running a little golf thing, and she's like, <laughs> 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 bro. Uh, he's love it, man. Hey, have you ever dropped your shopping like <laughs> dramatically? <laughs> That's why it sounds like baby potatoes. <laughs> hey, have you ever been and embarrassed or tripped and you've been Good. trying to like, or you buckled and you're trying to keep yourself upright oh. and you just feel like you've been trying for too long you just kind of give it and just let You gotta let gravity do its thing bro. And the maddest thing is, is the, the, you put so much effort into staying on your feet. Mm. Your body's just like, brother, come on man, it's never gonna be that bad. <laughs> Let's just go. And we're at the Tuck age. and roll. No, we're at the age Tuck where, and roll. Bro, Tuck I'm, and roll. I'm letting you where are you falling from? No, you man. Tuck. You man are doing too much. We're at the age, yeah. If we drop, yeah, it's physical therapy, bro. It's it's re recovery. No, I'm it's not, not bro. I was playing basketball. I took bear drops. Man. My balance took a while to recalibrate it to what basketball needed no, from I'm me. Talking I was falling over. Bear no, on the I'm, wood, fam. No, falling. Once you're making sound to get up. falling on the <laughs> The basketball court. He was, <laughs> he was falling over. <laughs> hey, you know what? I thought that I thought that new commission of show was suspicious, bro. When that Shioko commission, I said, "Wait, wait, this guy." I had a, I had a blade. It up. You were. <laughs> it was slick. He said I was in the back for radio first as well. I hate you, fam. I was falling over. <laughs> Bad, you know. That's how that fella would now. You got a new show. Just <laughs> listen now. Red flag. Hey, shut up, man. <laughs> the hardwood deal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, you're not funny. None of you uh, are funny. Wait, we need hey, to do. Listen, last one, yeah. Before we go, go over to Patreon, yeah. Oh, I've got, wait, I've got one Head for you. Is. I've got one for you. You have to watch it because you lot have not seen this before. Um, please play it. That's not the last one. We have to do that one on Patreon. Uh, cool. <laughs> Aye, Which one? <laughs> a guy trying to get his gal back, bro. All right, say Interesting, no bro. Play this thing, fam. This guy is talking to his missus. We'll play it through the thing. It's mad. He feels like he's an ex. You know how you'll talk to your ex because you think I still, you're still mine. You're still my babes. Is it? Um, Hold on. Okay, cool. Got it. I have a boyfriend. Wait, hold on. And I have moved on, and it's best. It's if you not do like you move me to Melona Welding, you can drop him. 
are you are you even listening to yourself? Yes, do you, you still not love get me. my sense? You still love me, right? I do not love you. You do. I don't. Edna, if you're sure you don't love me, if you're sure there is not even a single drop of love left in your heart for me, slap me. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Are we seriously doing this, Fidel? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So you want me to slap you because... Yeah, prove to me that you don't love me. I don't want to get puppy. Mm. You see when reality hits you, yeah? Because mm. that won't that pay from the slap, you know? That was the emotional damage. Emotional. <laughs> With immediate effect. Oh, Rashi. Oh, Rashi, serious. <laughs> You know that snap? It touched his soul, bro. <laughs> that was a season. You know what's funny? Because I think he was uh, thinking out of, out of himself. Like he forgot about where he was. He was That's like, right. What do you mean you love mm. me? There you go. And then he and as he got slapped, all the correctness just came back. Oh, he remembered where he was. He yep. remembered the cameras. He remembered and that people going to see this. Yes. And he, and he remembered his one brethren going, "Bro, don't waste your time, fam." Because everyone, every guy has the girl that they think you know what. If I was like, hey, even girls have a guy that they're like, if I said it's time again, you're coming back to me. People have their, their ego their is that crazy. Of it. Instant access. Mm-hmm. I can get, I, that's why if I, I want, I can get you back. That's why men don't allow exes to be bridges for Yes. Pardon? How? Yes. <laughs> this brother's already, how? <laughs> this is the first time to see what that thing can look like. That's where it's hilarious. like, even if she's moved on and it's like, it's like, it's like and in his mind, he's been telling all the men then, brother, what, you seen her with my man? Please, I can get her back. Fam, she's coming on the show, fam. Why do you think she's coming on the Why show? Why do you think she's coming to the show? She could have just said no. Just up to the red dress and that, come on. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, um, we, we know we're doing, all the people that are signed up, we're getting over to the Patreon. Audio listeners, you're lit. You're still with us. You can, you move with us. But again, Hold if on. you do not have it, you want to do should we do it just mention it just mention it all right let, what we're going to talk about go on just let them know what we're talking about there's, there's, there's loads there's, there's, loads there's bare stuff over there but one of the things is about this squatter shameless squatter who moved into a pensioner's home then won the legal right to keep it and then he sold the house for 540k we'll be discussing <laughs> We'll be discussing that. It's going to be a silly what we're we're on <laughs> foolishness today. Listen, people. Again, we appreciate everyone that signs up to the um, to the Patreon. It's really it's it's ma- it's major for us. Um, please Your follow us. A month over. makes a big difference, man. Yeah, absolutely, difference. absolutely, man. So please follow us over there. Four pounds a month. Um, you subscribe. You become a member, and we got we got loads more content coming. But this is a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Patreon yeah. community is growing. Let's EF go. gang is building over there. EF gang is building. So, right. um, one of the comments came through, right? And he's saying we should change the name to, mm. was it was it Foolish? Foolish Ones. Foolish Ones. Or something like that. Foolish yeah. Ones. Foolish Ones. How do you guys feel about that? Comments, response to see which one we're going with. Because I'm, I'm like... I'm I'm definitely on EF Gang. That's that's the, just, the just name. Just to be clear, this is not the name of the podcast. It's no, no, no. It's just the, the hive. The hive. Yeah. It's the uh, name right. of the gang what, what over there. People that are supporting us. What we're calling ourselves as a collective. EF Gang or foolish ones. I did think about the foolish kind of idea, like maybe even jesters and things like that. But then I thought, do people want to consider themselves to be fools? I don't know. Do you want to be a foolish one? I don't know, fam. What do you all think? Yeah, let us know in the comments which one, which one lands. Yeah, all right, cool, wicked. All right, listen, anyway, we're moving over. Big up to yourselves. Calm. Stay blessed. We're out. Yo, people, we're in. EF gang, let's go. That was, that was a bit too, you know, for the edit, he just... Oh, see you later. We're going now. All right, Bye. guys. Peace, man.